Our Operation Alteration series is back now as we meet a girl who's looking to rework an old Deb's dress that holds serious sentimental value. Oh, I can see the future coming. So Sarah, this is a great one today. You've brought your Deb's dress with you. 14 years ago you wore it, which is fantastic, but you want to get it revamped, made short and kind of sexy it up a little bit, do you? <laughs> yeah, just for a change. I just thought I may as well get the use out of it again. It's sitting in the wardrobe, probably half the country of Deb's dress is sitting in her wardrobe and you may as well do something with it. Yeah, I think that's great because I do. And I, well, I wouldn't look at them again. <laughs> I'm dying to see yours. But tell us, you have a great little story you're married to the man you brought to your devs. Yeah, yeah, we started going out in transition year and I suppose just, um, yeah, I got married 10 years after the devs. So we're together now, we're married together four years. And you just had a little girl. Yeah, just had our first baby. Let's go into the zip yard and see what they can do. Okay, <laughs> And as always, Alba from the zip yard had some great ideas. Okay, so should she try this on? Yeah, come on, Sarah. I'll bring you to the fitting room. We'll get you to fit it on. Fantastic. I'm dying to see what Sarah's Deb's dress looks like on her today. Take me back to where it all began, to where our grow before they take us off. Have, I know how talented you guys are in here, but tell us, what do you think you'll do with Sarah's dress? Um, well, it's a gorgeous dress. Um, as Sarah was saying, she's only worn it once for her Debs, like over 10 years ago. Um, so really, we're looking for a whole transformation, something she can wear for a wedding. Um, so really, she said she'd like to cover her arms. So we thought about using some lace and maybe making a new lace sleeve, a new lace uh, neckline. And also, it needs some uh, extra panelling put into the back just yeah. to make it. Really put lace in there? Uh, we were thinking about that. It might be a nice kind of sheer sort of backless um, design. I cannot wait to see Alva. Thanks a million. Now, Sarah, are you happy with that? Yeah, absolutely. She had some great ideas, so I'm looking forward to seeing what yeah, she, she really comes does. up with. I can't yeah. wait to see a nice yeah. little sexy number. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. All right, thanks, thanks a million. Bye. Anyway, time to head back to the zip yard for Operation Alteration Series. Now to see what they did with that old Dev's dress. Where do we start or where do I begin? You're pushing me out, I'm trying to get back in. Zara, we're back again. How excited are you? Yeah, really excited. I've never done anything like this before, so it'd be nice to um, see the dress now and um, completely change. I can't wait to see it. If it's short, if it's long, if they brought that lace effect into it. Yeah, I hope they brought the lace in, because um, I don't really wear a lace, and it'd be nice to try something different. Yeah, come on, yeah. we'll go in and check it out. Well, how'd you get on? Great, great. I'm really excited to show it to you. Um, can we get you into the fitting room? We'll get you to try it on. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, fantastic. Thank I you. can't wait to see it. Best of luck. I can't believe this dress. It's like a completely different dress. Absolutely, yeah. Um, in this case, we uh, used uh, Blake Lively. She had, uh, we used her inspiration. It was a long uh, dress, a lace dress, but it had a short mini dress underneath. So we used the base of the original dress, made it short. We added the panels to make it fit, because uh, she's now size 12, so we made it into her current size. And then we added the lace sleeves and the lace overlay full length skirt with a nice kind of sexy slit just to keep it young, you know? Wow, it's amazing. So you went out and got the lace. This la the lace wasn't part of the original dress. Well, no, it wasn't. But um, what we do is when people come in with, say, an old item and they come into us for their consultation, uh, which is totally free, we'd go through all those. Uh, items with them. We go through um, maybe the inspiration piece they might have, people might bring us photos and we'd also uh, source materials for them or people, we'd advise them where to get their own material and bring it into us. So it's a full uh, full process really that we go through with customers. I can't talk, I wait to talk to herself and see what she thinks about it. Thanks. Now, how happy are you? I think it's fantastic. Yeah, delighted with it. Are really. you happy? Yeah, yeah, really excited now to wear it. Um, she did an unbelievable job. She you really wouldn't did. recognize the dress, yeah. Are you gonna wear it to the wedding? What do yeah, you think? Yeah, I think so. I'm sure, what better time to wear a dress like that, yeah? And do you know what I love that people might know at home is the sash is, uh, you can take it off and obviously you can put the bow at the back, the front, the yeah. sides, whatever. I love it at the front though. Yeah, 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 it's really creative and something. And what do you like about it? Do you like the slit? 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think my husband might like that, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I, I want to see pictures, so send us a picture through, won't you, yeah, of, yeah. of the night. Yeah. And great to meet you. Thanks a million. Johanna, great to see you. We've got a great idea today. We're going to alter clothes that you have. These belong to your mom. Unfortunately, she's not with us anymore. But you've picked out, you've raided her wardrobe pretty much, haven't you? Yeah, so I did. Now, she has a huge wardrobe. I think she could have had probably three in the house altogether. So it took a while to find some pieces. And uh, a lot of it was quite outdated and couldn't be used. But, uh, you know, I did find a, le a lovely leather skirt um, and a cool kind of, now, it's not very fashionable at the moment but um, a big cape, so hopefully um, the zip yard will be able to do something for Absolutely. me. Absolutely. I suppose it's lovely to have something belonging to your mom that you can now wear. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, it is, it's is—it's sentimental, so it's great to get the use out of the clothes. And more, like, you know, there's so much stuff sitting upstairs not being used. So it's like, it's a great opportunity now to, you know, get it back and get it in fashion again and start wearing the yeah. clothes. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. Come on, we'll head into the zip yard now and see how we get on. Yeah, you never said a word you did. Okay, so Johanna's going to try on her two pieces before they're altered so we can see what they look like. So Alba, are these looks achievable that Johanna wants? Yeah, definitely. I mean, she's brought some great pieces to start with, so that's always helps when the pieces are really good quality. She's got a really nice leather skirt belonging to her mom. Um, she wants it made into, uh, restyled into a more modern fit, maybe a shorter skater style skirt. So that's definitely really achievable. So you're kind of keeping the same shape here, but making it shorter and bringing it more up to date, I suppose. Exactly. Um, in ensuring it's the right fit for her, which is really important. Yeah, I love it. So it's going to be a, a lovely uh, piece when it's finished. And the cape, you said something about you're going to change this up a little bit though. Are you going to do something with the lining? Yeah, we were thinking the cape, it's a great piece as well, really good fabric. And the thing is, it's the way a lot of stuff was in the past, it was very oversized, very voluminous. And it's just not flattering for nowadays. So we're going to keep the cape style. It's really in fashion this season. We're going to change the lining, brighten it up, maybe give it a deeper red or we'd, we're not sure what color, but something along those lines. And maybe a leather trim we might take from um, what's left over from the skirt. So it's going to tie in the two pieces really well. I love your ideas. I can't wait to see. Thanks a million, Alva. Stay with us as we reveal the altered looks later in the show. Oh, don't think you will... You're very welcome back to the show. Now, earlier we introduced you to our Operation Alteration series. So let's find out how they got on. Earlier on, we met Johanna, who wanted to transform two old pieces from her mother's wardrobe into something new. So we're back at the zip yard to see what they've come up with. Oh, but what a transformation. I can't get over it. Let's go talk about the skirt first. How difficult or easy was this to alter? The skirt was actually quite simple alterations. Um, as I said before, we were starting with a really good piece. Um, but basically what we need to do is create a seam that we could bring up the flared part on the end and create that skater style that's in at the moment. So it just made it a lovely mini that Johanna's more inclined to wear mini styles. So she's delighted, as you can see, with the transformation. Moving on to the cape, gorgeous cape here, but wow, look at it now. It's Again, it's so modernized. Exactly, the cape is so in this season. So the idea was that Johanna could take this this uh, much loved item from her mom's wardrobe and just make it wearable for herself. So we've added the leather trim and we've also added the leather uh, covered button on the top so she can close it if she wants. And we also have the leather trim on the um, sleeves and just on the inside the detail of the electric blue lining just gives it that it just brightens it up the transformation Alba you're in trouble because I'm going to raid my wardrobe but there's a lot of stuff in there that I don't wear and I'd love to get them altered so that's what Absolutely it's really about people need to open their wardrobe up 
and think outside the box. Absolutely. Um, we know that women only wear 20% of their wardrobe. So we have a lot of items that are just out of date, out of style. Maybe they're just not in keeping with what you like to wear. But yes, you don't want to get rid of them. So dig into your wardrobe, get out those items and bring them into us in the zip yard. We can work our magic and make them perfect for you. So, Johanna, are you happy? I think they look fantastic. Oh, I'm delighted with them. I can't believe the transformation. I'm literally like going to live in them for winter now. I know. But I the know. skirt I love. And then I yeah. saw the cape. That's just brought yeah. up to date. It's so I, fast. It's such good pieces to have. So, I'm actually going to go home and see what else I have that I can bring into them and get redone. <laughs> nice. And I'm dying to see you with those on you. Have a good Thanks one, Johanna. Thanks for Bye. Bye. For more information, head to thezipyard.ie. Welcome back to the final part of the show. Now it's time to see if our viewer Michelle Ross can breathe some life into her old clothes and give her unwanted bargains a new home. Having dropped a few of her purchases into the Zipyard Alteration Store, we brought two big bags of Michelle's clothes to the charity shop. Well, Una Michelle has cleared out two big black sacks full of clothes uh, are here for the Irish Cancer Society. How vital are donations like this at this time of year? They are so vital, Karen. Without them, we couldn't open our doors in the morning. We depend on good people like Michelle here to donate to us on a daily and weekly basis. Well, listen, this black bag can barely contain the contents of Michelle's closet. Michelle, what are you giving away today? Well, there's lots of stuff in here. This one is one that Lisa Fitzpatrick took out of my wardrobe and said was hideous, which I actually only bought this a couple of weeks ago. It will be slapped up within minutes, I can guarantee you. Michelle, that must make you feel good about giving away your beloved clothes. Sure it does. Then it was back to the zipyard where the team there had turned Michelle's beloved jacket into a cape. Is this a big job? It actually isn't because this jacket she had, it had no lining in it. It was quite a simple knitted kind of a jacket. Sleeves are really long. So what we did is we removed the sleeves, made a slit so that it really has that cape style and kept it kind of long in the back. So it's quite a simple alteration to do, surprisingly enough. Next, they changed a pair of printed trousers and a dress into a jumpsuit. Basically, we just had to narrow the trouser, make it a more flattering style, more of a cigarette shape, a bit of a higher waist and just attach the top inside and the results are amazing as you can see it really shows off Michelle's figure. So Michelle how did you find the whole closet clear out experience? Oh, I loved it Lisa done a great job when she came into me she gave me great ideas for how to store my coats and how to make more space out of what I've got. Yeah. Now she was brutal she made you give a whole lot of stuff away but it went to a really good cause the Irish Cancer Society. It did it's great there was a lot of stuff in there that still had tags on them that I hadn't even worn and a dress that she said was hideous that I only recently purchased um, and I'm glad Glad that's gone to somewhere that they'll get use of it. And tell us, you got a new lease of life for some great pieces that were in your wardrobe, and that cape—that's just stunning on you. I love the cape. I can't believe how how different it looks. It, it's like a totally new piece. It's like I'm after going out and buying a new piece for my wardrobe. And I you, love it. And you might as well have bought a jumpsuit as well because you've got a brand new outfit I know, there. Oh, I know. And the two things that you made them out of—the dress and the trousers—were in my wardrobe still with tags on them. I didn't yeah. even know what to wear them with, so it's amazing. And if you'd like to feature in our next closet clear out, just mail us at closet clear out at tv3.ie In order to restyle Janice's most beloved clothes, we headed to alteration specialists, the zip yard. So what could they do with Janice's faux fur jacket? Maybe we could lose the sleeve, make it like a gilet, which is a lot more wearable. Maybe a little leather belt would kind of tie it in. And possibly the collar is kind of what's bulking it out. So maybe we could get rid of that yeah. and make it a bit sleeker. Yeah, that's that perfect. Good? Yeah. Okay. And what about that red blazer? What do you think about maybe if we made it a bit sleeker as well, removed the collar, made it a little bit like a collarless kind of drop straight down? I have a nice idea with zips we might incorporate into that, okay. but leave that with me. So we left the clothes with the zip yard for 24 hours and the next day we checked out the Dress for Success charity, which would see Janice's unwanted clothes go to a good cause. Dress for Success is an organisation that helps women back into the workplace. So what we do is when they come in, we give them HR skills so that 
that they can package their message for interview and then we wrap up the outsides with perfect interview appropriate clothing so we're always looking for clothes so whether it's clothes for interviews or clothes for workwear after they have the job um, what you have in this bag is of huge importance to us so that's a knitted dress that might work for workwear this little denim is probably not going to work for interview or workwear, but it's super cute. Where this could work for us is with our fashion sales. So when we get clothes that aren't appropriate for workwear or for interview, we do fashion sales twice a year. So with our unwanted clothes left with the charity, we then headed to swap boutique shopper Ella to see if Janice could make any money back on a dress she was happy to part with. So Janice, how much did you pay for your Ted Baker dress? Paid about 180, I think it was. Okay, so something like this would normally retail for 89 euro in our store if you paid 180 for it for 50 percent off the retail price so would you like cash up front today for it yeah i would yeah okay perfect so that would be approximately 30 euro cash up front is that okay with you yes, that's perfect with 30 euro now in her hand it was back to the zip yard to see how they transformed janice's old clothes and the results were pretty dramatic Well, Janice, how was your closet clear out for you? What do you think of the whole experience? Oh, it was brilliant. Yeah, I'm really glad I did it now. Tell me, did you learn anything from Lisa Fitzpatrick initially? I did, yes. I certainly learned how to make loads of space in my wardrobe. I feel like now I have to come buy more clothes to fill it up. <laughs> <laughs> and then the zip yard, that was a great oh, result. I love these. I, I can't wait now to wear these. I'm absolutely delighted. They did a brilliant job. And the dress for success idea, you hadn't heard of that before, had you? No, never heard of it in my life. And I really, really like the idea that a dress that I might have worn in my management days is going on to somebody that might get the opportunity to wear it for their job. Yeah. So I'm delighted. And you're 30 year richer. Yay! And if you'd like like to feature in our next Closet Clearout, email us at closetclearout at tv3.ie. iClothing.com. Style is just a click away. Now we're outside, it's Friday and the sun is shining, life yeah. is good. <laughs> and we are talking about fashion, Cathy, and we are talking about one of my favourite things, a bit of Mary make and do this morning, but fancy Mary make and do, everything's from the zip yard. And we're showing how you can take dresses that you love, but you've kind of fallen out of love with because they don't fit you, or you bought them and for whatever reason they're not working for you, they will alter them and make the dress of your dreams, or any piece of clothing. Exactly, and we're not just talking about altering, we're really talking about transformations. Yes, and you're right. Exactly, you see, I think there's, people's body shapes can change, uh, people don't wear things so they don't fit exactly right or they've got a dress they loved but it's as you say gone out of style all sorts of reasons or you but they you just do want to update a dress completely okay. completely so it's great it's all from the zipyard.ie 24 shops around the country so and um, they've got these great boutiques around the place so. I've seen what they've done before but today I'm very very impressed and you at home are about to be as well we're going to take a look at the first dress so this is somebody's a lady in red this is a red dress somebody had at home beautiful little kind of red shift dress very simple very pretty there but yes. then this person took it to the zip yard and they did something very magical. They did this. They really did. Oh, look, here we are. We've changed. <laughs> da, 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 da. Um, as you it can is see, unrecognizable. isn't it? Completely transformed. And um, just what they did was they Put took the out the, the, the front and the back. They added the peplum, added that lovely bow. And just around the front then what we have is that beautiful, beautiful peplum. And they added the zebra trim. So as you can see, just a completely different shape of dress, the vibe of it. So what we had was a really gorgeous classic kind of dress beforehand and now we've so got something that's 75 euro yeah and they say there's an, a, a, which is really great value that's because amazing. it's an enormous that's amount, amount of work. work it really is as you can see it's just completely changed the trims they got from um, Hickey's Fabrics um, as well and uh, what's really great about the Zipyard uh, boutiques is they really know they can advise you in terms of dressing for your body shape they're very creative love the bow at the back so it's you don't have to go in with your dress and great ideas they will bring the ideas to the table for you completely and work with your body shape Shape and what might work for you yeah, because for 75 euro you have a unique dress and nobody else will have that is fitted to your body shape Ab 
Absolutely. It's great yeah. value, Cassie. No, and I think particularly because we're looking at an occasion where you don't yeah. necessarily want to be going to the races or to a wedding, the risk of someone else wearing it... you'll bump it, into someone else wearing the dress. Completely. That will never happen when you go to any one of the okay, zipyards. Okay, let's have a look at the next dress. So this is before the zipyard got their hands on it. Yes, and again, as you can see, just a perfectly lovely uh, dress. Again, the kind of dress that everyone else might have in their wardrobe. And this is what they and did. And the zipyard worked their magic. Look at this. It is unrecognisable. Unbelievable, You're right to use yes. the word transformation. Uh, and really, the dedication is just phenomenal in terms of what they did. So what they did was they removed the sleeve. They added, as you can see, that beautiful jade green um, sleeve. So this is ideal if, for example, you had a, a sleeve, a sleeveless dress that you felt self-conscious about these your alterations arms. cost 75 euro yeah, as well. Yeah. I am amazed that's how little they cost. Yeah, uh, they, they uh, made the pencil skirt shape of the dress. They added that, that lace trim on it. And what they did, uh, that lace overlay they added, and also they cut out, I don't know if you can see it, little squares of the lace so that the purple You can see the more. purple showing yeah. through. And again, as you can see, what they did was they just got that see-through, just the lace trim. Absolutely incredible. Do you know what? If you are heading up to the Galway races and you're going to enter into Ladies' Day, there is time to bring a dress, get it into the zip yard, and get a unique dress that no one else will have. Exactly. Because you put them here with headpieces. Uh, the, yes, and the headpieces are from Glitzy Bits, just so we can see the kind of finished um, look of it. Let's so remind ourselves what this looked like before, because it really is... I mean, I wouldn't recognise the dress. No, uh, and again, not only in terms of shape, but the overlay and, and just that phenomenal uh, idea. So impressive, Kathy. Isn't it? And you know, it you really is. Celebrities who look fantastic all the time, the reason they look fantastic every, all the time is that everything they put on is bespoke. When it comes to occasion where it's I was just about to say, you're fitted. getting a tailor-made dress for 75 for you. euro. For, you, for your shape. It's which incredible. Is, yeah, fantastic. And I think it really kicks into its own if you're a split size. So if you've got, yeah. for example, hips that are bigger. Yeah, I'd be bigger. Like most Irish women, we're bigger in our bottom half than we are in our top yeah. half. So what yeah. you can do is you can get the dress that fits your hips and get it adjusted. I love the idea of going to your second-hand shop or a charity shop and finding something and making it perfect for you totally. okay let's have a look at the new dress this is actually a really beautiful dress but I am amazed with what they've done here yeah, again, again ladies day at Galway next week I think this would be perfect isn't it just absolutely exquisite wait to see this now look what they've done so it's they created a cape. They created a cape. And that's what, what is fantastic about them is that you're tapping into that kind of creative resource. So um, the cape, they had, they, it cost 70 euro um, to make the cape because, again, this was all um, kind of handmade in that kind of way. What we got is beautiful yeah, trim. 70 euro to make that cape, you'd pay twice that in a shop. Oh, look, yeah. Absolutely. And again, it's made for you, which is great. So if you can show us what's underneath the cape, it would be great. So, did, can, so they made the cape. And it wasn't from the material of the original dress. They made they it as an add-on piece. Exactly. So exactly. you could ask for that. Exactly. So what we've got I is just that done beautiful, beautiful this. trim. And um, again, what they've done is uh, renovated the sleeve on it, added that gorgeous trim, which they very got Kate in the Winslet, this look, Isn't I think. It's just yeah. beautiful, beautiful altogether. And as you can see, uh, just a very, very sexy kind of feature. All of that trim really works with the body. And then what I love is the, the decadence of the, the feathers. Bottom. Just absolutely exquisite. Now, what's the time frame on this? Like, now, how long does something like this take to create? Is, they will transform in, in 48 hours. What? They, do, do, can, they can do this 48 in 48 hours. Hours. Obviously, they'd like more time, just so not everyone's coming in 48 but if hours. You're, but if, you're, if you've got something to do at the weekend or coming up next week, like the races we were saying, you can go in and go, make 100%. me make me a dress nobody else will have. Yes, that is to suit me. Yeah, which is just fantastic. And for 75 quid. Exactly. And of course, what they do is they do one hour express alterations. If you had kind of just something minor, they can certainly do that for you um, as I've well. i to get down there. Oh, it's fantastic. Listen, I've taken in Your so jacket, many they altered your jacket. Yes, and again, if you've got precious, because very often people have got very precious pieces. Oh, now here's good. There's a beautiful symbol. Simple coral summer dress. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous dress. And it has been completely transformed. This would be yes. amazing for a summer wedding or again for an event. It's just beautiful. And again, just notice the detail. They've got this underlay of tulle underneath it. Um, and what they did was completely revamp this dress. They added that little um, the little uh, blue overlay on it, which is that gorgeous, that little yoke they added. And I added. guess, Cathy, they have a chat to you about your style, what you like, what you wouldn't 100%. like. And then they off they go and create. Yeah. And they really are trained in terms of your body shape, advising you creatively on what's going to work with you. So again, the headpieces... It's just a win-win-win all round. Isn't I'm it so just impressed. gorgeous? And the yeah. headpieces that we got again Glitzy from bits. Glitzy Bits, which are just great... But they've got the zipyard.ie is um, their Zip website. Zipyard.ie, how many stores nationwide? 24, 24. nationwide. I could not recommend them highly enough. Take an so, old dress, spend 75 quid, get a brand new dress that nobody else has. That's going to be for your fit. No it's brainer. No brainer. It's just fantastic. And again, I just think it just means that you're wearing something that you love that is absolutely perfect for to you. To the zipyard! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go back inside the studio. Cathy, thank you for that. That was Pleasure. great. Pleasure. Now, if you can't afford to buy yourself a new summer wardrobe, 
Don't worry, because you can just get your old stuff and get them dickied up and made like brand new. I am joined this morning by stylist Kira O'Doherty, who is headed to the Zipyard for some fashion DIY, and she's come back with some amazing results. Kira, you're very welcome as always. Thank you for having now, me. I love the Zipyard because it just transforms old items, makes them brand new, and brings them bang up to trend, and not at a great cost either. Absolutely. So we've lots to get through. Let's get straight into it. Yeah. So you're gonna we're gonna have a look at the shirt that you bought. Uh, this is before I went to the the zip yard. Yes. Okay. So we had the shirt. Which so was plain a, white shirt. Yeah. No, okay. Nothing too exciting there. Um, yeah. So what we did, obviously, we wanted to restyle it. So you'll get to see the afters. Okay. Now, and we did amazing. a skirt as well. And a, yeah, a midi skirt in a nice little print, but we wanted to jazz it up, make it a bit more summer okay. appropriate. So that was the shirt and that was the skirt. And then you got your hands on it in the zip yard and you worked your little magic. Yes, we did. And you're going to bring out the model now so we can see the difference. Ooh la la, crop Isn't it top. Lovely? Yeah, so we just wanted to do something really summery, maybe an outfit that you might be able to wear on holidays. And culottes are so popular for spring, yeah, summer. Just need to show that they are culottes as opposed to a skirt. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, they really look so, so lovely. And they're so popular for summer. So it's a really easy way to jazz up a midi skirt that you might have that you might be tired of. And also, culottes are a good option in terms of formal wear. If you don't want to wear a skirt, culottes are, you know, they're going to look beautiful. They're very in this season they're as well. They're very aren't they? in. I yeah. love them. Yeah. <laughs> you love them. You're <laughs> wearing culottes, culottes today. Culottes. Yeah. Now, the price that we're showing on the screen, the 60 euro that's not for the obviously the original garment that's for you doing your magic exactly. in the zip yard yeah now it depends if you're getting the item fitted to you if you get something that's bigger it's going to be fitted in and restyled so that's kind of two different prices it's all about the time that they take in it let's have a look at the before and after I know we have two before so there's a shirt and there it is hacked away to a terrifying yeah, midriff so revealing top. But people would love that. Oh, absolutely. People are paying a fortune for those in the shops at the moment. Completely. Yeah. What we're showcasing is really what you can do with the Zipyard's restyling service. It's all to do with your imagination and what you want. They can make anything for you. I love the cloths. And even if you don't have the imagination, they'll bring the imagination exactly, to the table. Exactly, yeah. So you can bring in a whole lot of they old will. stuff and go, make it new. Yeah, if you have an idea, if you're kind of looking on maybe Pinterest and you have some ideas or a celebrity-inspired look, bring it into them. The consultations are free and they'll be able to make it happen. They Fantastic. are so, so good. So you could bring in Kim Kardashian and go, make me this. Make me her. Yeah, well, I mean, anything Thing, like let's say any of the trends that you see at the moment that might be really expensive you can rework your old wardrobe dig out those pieces but well, here's something that you did dig out of a wardrobe this is a trench coat which most people would have probably knocking around so there it is a nice trench coat belted yeah. up you know very usable but you yeah. wanted to rework it yes and rework it you have yes we did i absolutely love this piece on ursula i think it's so summery and so so beautiful and I it's think a it's, completely different garment, even though essentially yeah. you just took away the sleeves. Well, what we did was we also restyled the lapels as well, and we also tightened it in because it was quite oversized, so we made it fit her beautifully as well. And I think it's a good example of if you have a winter coat that you've worn to death, you can take the sleeves off it and make it into a summer coat. It doesn't have to be just a trench Very material. Very clever idea. Oh, I've, it, like, but even you can, if you go charity shopping and yeah. pick up an old trench coat from a charity shop, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I actually have done that with the zipyard before I brought in a coat that I picked up for so little. And yeah, I just think it looks so beautiful. Such a summery piece. Let's see them side by side. Let's see the before and after. If you st stick the belt back. Oh, there we go. Look at the difference. So you can see there's loads of material on the initial one. And it's, I it's love quite that oversized. I think it looks gorgeous. I know. Yeah. Isn't it fabulous? And really, you can apply this principle to any coat. You can summer it up, basically, and make it much more appropriate. Summer up your coat. Summer up your coat. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think on winter, your arms will be cold. But look, you can layer it with a polo neck or now, something. Uh, let's, let's talk about blazers. We have a blazer that you dug out of somebody's wardrobe. Because blazers are one of those things they need to fit perfectly. I'm so excited about okay. this. Okay. <laughs> So this was, this looks very lovely, a double-breasted white yeah. blazer, good length on it. So what magic did you perform on this? Well, I want to see it. We took inspiration for this piece from, uh, we see it a lot on the catwalks and uh, on celebrity red carpets, that beautiful asymmetric blazer look. So basically what we decided to do was to make that beautiful asymmetric cut, make it, you know, a very You've kind of a it. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's very Rihanna. I love it. Yeah. Oh, it's so, so lovely. And of course, with something like this, you can make it into a blazer dress, which we're seeing a lot on the catwalks. But of course, because Laura is quite tall, we couldn't really make it into a dress. But if you come in with a longer blazer, you, that's, so that cost a hundred euro to restyle that. If you were now, to buy that in the shops, it would yeah. cost about three times that. Yeah, and there yeah. was a lot of restyling, all the sizing on the arms and everything. There was lots of details got like put into this one, and also the lapels as well. So definitely, everyone has no blazer knocking around in their wardrobe. Totally. Yeah. yeah. It could be a work blazer that you want to yeah. jazz up. Like this will be perfect for a night out. It's really, really sophisticated. It's very smart, isn't it? Isn't I it? Really oh, I really like the asymmetrical end on it. It's really, really nice, and you could make that into a dress as well. If you got a longer blazer. Okay, something else we all have knocking around because they were so trendy last year and this year jumpsuits. Yes. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I'm interested to see what you can do with a jumpsuit because well. I would have.